Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Sunset. How are you today? Thank you. Good. I'm Raina. I'm going to be your server this afternoon. The reason why we put the napkins down is to let um, the, the hostess know and the management know that you've greeted your table and someone's been there to take care of them and get everything started. Ladies, can I get you started with something to drink today? A glass of wine or cocktail? Do you have a wine list or drink list? Yes, ma'am. On the back of this menu, we do have a full cocktail menu. And we have uh, wines by the glasses on the right. And we are known for our crushes and martinis, but we also have really, mo really good mojitos. I'll take a Chardonnay. Yes, ma'am. And I'll go ahead and try an orange crush, please. Yes, ma'am. And would you ladies care for waters to go with your drinks? Yes, please. Okay. I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. Once you've greeted the table and taken a drink order, you will then go to your nearest computer and type in everything that you've done. Oh. So you always want to start by putting in your keyword or your staff ID. It's usually a four digit number. So I put in the correct number. That's my name. So you say yes. Then you start with your table number. We were just at table 33. And it's going to ask you the number of covers. So I'm going to put two. And then it always starts with the beverage screen. So they both wanted waters. And then the one young lady ordered a Chardonnay or house Chardonnay. The wines are always listed by the color. And the other lady ordered uh, Orange Crush. So you're gonna go to the liquor menu, select cocktail, and there it is, Orange Crush. Once you've put in everything and everything's correct, you hit the finish button and then you'll send it. And then to pick up your drinks, you would just go to the bar in your nearest section. So I'm now at my nurse bar, which is the down bar area, carries our bartender for the day. So for the Chardonnay with the wines, we always pull a glass down from the rack and we pour the six ounce pour of wine into the glass. And I'll place that on the tray. We always carry drinks on the tray. So when you order a cocktail from the bar, we are responsible for placing the garnishes on the drinks after the bartender has already lined up the cocktails on the bar. And as far as non-alcoholic beverages, we are responsible for making them. Here I've iced two glasses for the ladies' waters, and we use a soda gun. It has all the sodas and waters on, on there. So I'm just gonna fill up these two glasses with water for them. You only put straws in the waters when the ladies ask for them. I'm gonna grab two more napkins. You always place a napkin on the table for each beverage that's on the table. All right, ladies, I'm gonna slide this out of the way. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Ladies, did you have any questions about the menu or the specials today? Thank you. Can you explain the soup and sandwich a little bit to me? Yes, ma'am. You're going to get a full sandwich, and it's going to come with a half cup of soup. The soup choices for the afternoon are the Maryland crab, the cream of crab, and the chili. And then I had a question about the sandwiches. Yes, ma'am. come with sides? Yes, you get a choice of one side. We have red beans and rice, french fries, coleslaw, or the seasonal vegetable. Today, it's French-style green beans. Do you recommend one over the other? Yes, I'm actually a big fan of the red beans and rice. They're very popular. Sounds good. Okay. Were you ladies decided? I think so. Are you? Yes. Okay. What can I get for I you? We're going to start off with a baked brie and fruit. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to do 
the uh, Greek salad. Okay. Would you care for any chicken or blackened salmon? Okay. But I'd like to get my dressing on the side. Is that possible? Yes, ma'am. And for you, ma'am? And I would love to do the ciabatta, okay. please. And I'll take your recommendation with the red beans and rice. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're very welcome. Ladies, I'm going to take these menus out of your way, and I'll get your orders ready. Your baked green fruit will be out first for you, okay? Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. So once you've taken their lunch order, you're going to go over to your nearest computer and put it in. That was table 33, and it's already highlighted. Once you've started a table, it will be highlighted in red. Um, so the baked brie and fruit is going to be listed under appetizers. I'm going to hit the brie button. And then they also ordered a salad and sandwich. So we're going to start with the salads. She ordered the Greek salad. So we're going to hit a modifier. You're going to go to check options, modifier. There's going to be a dressings list. I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to hit dressing on the side. So that way her dressing comes on the side of her salad. You're going to hit done, and it's going to exit out. She wants her salad as her main entree, so I'm going to also hit as entree. And then the next lady, she ordered a sandwich. She got the turkey avocado ciabatta. So I'm going to hit that. And she wanted it with the side of the beans and rice. So I'm also going to press that and hit done. She also wanted that for an entree because they are starting with the brie and fruit. So I'm going to hit as entree. That way everything's coursed out and their food doesn't come out on top of each other. I'm going to hit finish and send and then we're going to wait for their food to come out. So now we're going to head down to the kitchen to check on our appetizer. The kitchen is located centrally in the middle of the restaurant. So the free fruit is ready, so the expediter has placed it on a tray with the ticket number that tells you the server, the table, what the item is, and where it's going. Ladies, here's your appetizer, your baked free and fruit. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. So in this area, this is our main server station. There's two computers, and this is basically where we keep everything you would need to accommodate your tables. Um, we, we have rolled up silverware located in every area. Make sure it's nice and stocked. We also have our side plates that we place on the tables when we reset them. Um, this is our condiments, the ketchups, mustards, vinegars, salt, pepper, hot sauce. We also keep um, extra napkins and straws, extra napkins, books for the tables, basically everything that you would need. To-go boxes, back up, paper bags, register tape. Basically, we keep everything you would need to take care of your tables and to make sure service runs smoothly. So I've already put in their appetizer and they've already received it and had a couple bites. We like to do what we call a two minute touch back or a two minute table touch where you go and check on your table after they've had a couple bites to make sure everything's okay and they can continue with their meal. Ladies, how is everything? Okay. Um, let me know if I can get you any extra crackers to finish your brie and fruit, okay? All right. You're welcome. Now that we've checked back with our table and they're enjoying their appetizer and they can continue on with it, we now I'm now checked with all my other tables, make sure everything else is under control with them. I'm now waiting for my table's food to come out. So we're heading back into the kitchen to see approximately how long it will be for our table's entrees to come out. Um, yeah. So this is our expediter. He is now placed, plated and trayed the entrees for the table. Um, the lady that ordered the Greek salad, her dressings are on the side, so you always want to double check to make sure what you put in the computer is what's coming out to your table. 
and the young lady that ordered the turkey avocado ciabatta, her beans and rice are on the side. So now that this check is completed, our food runner, Sean, is gonna run it out to the table. When serving your food, you always want to serve the guests from the left. And then here's your turkey avocado ciabatta with the beans and rice. Thank you. And ma'am, here's your Greek salad with the dressing on the side. You're welcome. Ladies, were you still working on your appetizer? Will you care if I boxed it up for you? So I'm going to remove the appetizer and you also want to pre-bust and remove any unused dishes and utensils. And when you're taking the dishes off the table, you always want to remove them from the right. So now I'm going to take the remaining food and the dishes that I removed from the table over to the buster station where he's, he always takes the dishes. This is Noah. And this is where we keep the go boxes to box up the food. I always make sure there's a utensil left over so I can use their same utensil to put the food in. So now that their food's boxed up, I'm gonna go grab a bag out of the server station and then go check on my other tables. This is where we keep all the to-go bags. There are big and small ones in this cabinet. And they're all backed up. We can go back and check on them. Ladies, how is everything? Is there anything I can get for you? I think I'm gonna get this wrapped up. Too much? I eat a little too much every appetizer. Okay, sounds good. I'll take care of that for you. What about for you, ma'am? Same as well, please. Okay, I've already got your appetizer boxed up and bagged up for you here. I'm gonna set this on the side and I'll take your other dishes for you. Wonderful, thank you. You're very welcome. All right, ladies, I have the dessert menu here for you. Take a peek at that while I bag up the rest of your food. All right, so we've gotten a little bit fancy with our dessert menu these days. What you're going to do is you're going to pick on the dessert that you'd like to look at, and it's going to list a couple ingredients for you, tell you the price, and then you can just scroll on the bottom, and a new dessert will pop up for you to check out. All right, you ladies take a look at that, and I'll be right back with you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> So our guests have declined dessert and coffee, so now we're gonna come back over to the service station and print up their check. So we've pulled their check up. You're gonna reach over to the side. We keep all our server books on the left, left or right side of the computers. I'm gonna hit finish and print. It's gonna print up their check. I'm gonna place it in the book. We also place mitts in for the amount of guests that are at the table. Ladies, I'll take this out of your way. Here's your check. I'll give you a few minutes and I'll come take care of that for you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Ladies, I'll take this up for you and I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. So they're going to be paying with a credit card, so you're going to reopen the check. 30, table 33. You're going to get the finish. You're going to verify the check on the credit card by swiping it. And then once you swipe that, your ticket's going to print out for the customer to sign. Here you go, ladies. Thank you for coming in, and thank you for choosing Sunset Girl. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. 
So once your table's all cashed out and done, you go pick up your credit card receipt and you go back to the computer and close out your check. We are responsible for holding all the credit card receipts, your cash receipts that you receive from your tables throughout your shift. This is Rena, and I hope you found this training video to be informative and very helpful for when it's your turn on the floor. Hope to see you soon.